What's going on guys? It's Eric again back with another video. We're back downstairs with a Richmond water heater and I've kind of seen quite a bit of the comments on that video of part one and part two of taking the magnesium adenoid rod out and putting the electric adenoid rod in is, well, does it work? And the final conclusion is, so kind of a little bit of a spoiler alert is, I don't know. The only real evidence that I have to that is there's no more, um, there's no more sulfur smell in the water anymore. Now, visually, I don't see anything kind of going on here. Now, there's, if you look down here, there's a little bit of water, uh, only because this Michigan basement kind of seeps water in and my magne or my magnesium, my um, dehumidifier is full, so I'll have to dump that in a sump crack and get all that the moisture out of here. Once that runs uh, a little bit, all this moisture will be out of here. But anyway, coming back to the water heater, I don't see really any evidence of it working or not working. The only real th the only real evidence I would have is to open this up and look inside, which I I'm not going to do because <laughs> this video is this YouTube channel isn't for that. You would have to look at someone who has had this installed for a couple of years or maybe 10 years or how long and someone who has actually physically opened it up and looked inside is well did it do its job or did it not do its job now the only like i said the only evidence i have is visually it looks fine and there's no sulfur smell in my water anymore but i think that's because of taking the aluminum adenoid rod out now a couple of people in the comments section had said eric you should have probably took the zinc style I think there's a zinc style kind of sausage rod that you can kind of, so you're not having to kind of bend it and kind of do everything to kind of put this in here. So there's sausage links that you can put in here for low ceilings, kind of like what I got. You can put it in and boom, and you're off back off to the races again. Um, that I did not do. I don't know how well that would work. I would have to go uh, to people that have actually done that to kind of see how that works. But I really have no evidence for or against this thing. Now, in the last video, I was kind of wishy-washy on it. Is it going to work? Is it not going to work? I don't know. Overall conclusion here, guys, is the adenoid rod's in. It appears to be working. I'm looking kind of right over here. There's a green light, which means we're still good. There's no evidence of any water leaking here on the water heater. Um, and there was no softer smell in my water. So I think it's a win. Now, whether or not it's a true win, again, <laughs> I'm hitting stuff over here on the slow sailing. Again, you would have to open up the water heater and physically look inside here. That's really the only real case of whether this thing is doing its job or not. And on this channel, we're not going to do that. We're just going to go ahead and kind of fix stuff as they are. Um, now, we're not going to go into the why did something fail. There's other channels for that. Why did it fail? What, what's the condition of X, whatever X is. So... Yeah, like I said, 40 gallon water heater with an adenoid rod. I paid $118 at the time, and that was going on last year. Last year, year before, kind of right in there. I have to go back and look back at the video. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at, and that's where I'm con going to conclude this video. So I'm going to say use at your own risk on this thing. We're only a year, well, at the time of this video, we're kind of less than a year. We're 11 months in. I really haven't seen any negative effects or positive effects. I think the real positive effect was, again, taking the magnesium anode rod out. And that got rid of the sulfur smell. Um, but yeah, let me know. Was that the right call? Was it not the right call to do? Should I have done something else? Should I have not purchased this and maybe gone uh, with some other commenters said to use the zinc style anode rod, which I, they come in like a sausage link style for low ceilings? Let me know right down in the comments. What do you guys think here? Like I said, visually, I can't really see if it works or not. Um, and it got rid of the water softener smell. But I don't think the water softener smell was because of that. It was because of taking the adenoid rod, the magnesium adenoid rod out. Anyway, starting to become a broken record, guys. Let me know what you guys think right down in the comments. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Give it a thumbs down if you do not. And also, guys, if you like this content here, hit that subscribe button so you guys get more videos just like this one. All right, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope to see you guys again soon. Deuces. Take care, guys.